Hi, Peter Charles here, folks fly fly fishing. And today I'd like to talk to you about using yak hair. Now, I don't know if you've ever heard of yak hair or seen it, but look at the length of this hank. It's about a foot long. It's a great material for tying large flies for toothy critters, like pike, muskie, bluefish, barracuda, you name it, it works. It has a lovely translucence to it, has a quite a shimmer as well. Um, as you can see, it has this sort of crink, natural crinkle, but um, it actually runs quite straight. You know, you get the crinkling of the hair, but the hair itself goes dead straight. Great for big streamers. Now, there's a few things about uh, yak hair that you need to know. Uh, it's a very dense hair, so it's a heavy hair, and uh, it's a very strong hair, incredibly strong as a matter of fact. Um, I've caught a lot of pike uh, on... Um, Yak hair flies, uh, if you check out my Yak 9 uh, fly, has done a lot of pike for me. And it looks horrible. It's all tangled up uh, when I get it out of the fish's mouth. And I just comb it out like this, and it's all straight again. And I, I'm back fishing. And the thing lasts, you can you know, get multiple pike on the same fly, and there's no problems. Um, so it's a great, durable material. Now, the other thing about it is being so dense and heavy, is it sinks. It is really, really a good material to get a fly to get down. And, uh, but that comes with a bit of a downside, so we have to be aware of it. So I'm just going to cut off a hank here. And we're going to tie it on to this hook, and I just want to demonstrate a couple of things for you. Now, because this material is so dense and slippery and hard, if you tie it on a large clump all in one go, it will pull out. So what you would normally do is, I put a small clump here, if I wanted to add more of this color, I would put a second batch on. And for smaller flies, you won't want to do that. You'd use, want to use the method I showed you in a previous video. But for large uh, flies that we'd use in salt water for pike, who cares? Build a large head, it probably works better with a large head anyway. So that's issue number one, is to make sure that you have piled up the material, doing it in small steps rather than trying to take a big hunk. The other issue is this material is very heavy. So if you tied all of your material on the top of the hook, what you end up with is a fly that will flip on its side. Even with a big 4 aught stainless steel, two extra heavy salt water hook, it still goes on its side. So you want to make sure that when you're tying these flies, that you put some material on the bottom of the fly. So you've got yak hair on the top, you've got yak hair on the bottom. And that way your fly will now ride straight up. It won't tilt on its side because it has some yak hair balancing underneath. Quite literally, you have to worry about the balance of the fly when using yak hair. Pile it all on top and it'll ride on its side. And a big hook isn't going to make much difference. But this stuff is fabulous to use. If you check out my uh, video on the Yak 9, yeah, I know it's an old video. But anyway, if you have a look at it, you'll see how I tied on uh, yak hair onto this particular fly. And I also mixed in some bucktail too, if I remember correctly. Uh, of course, bucktail can help offset that uh, tendency to flip on one side. Anyway, give Yak Hair a try. It comes in a bunch of colors, and it has that nice translucence, a bit like Polar Bear. Very tough, very durable, and heavy. Anyway, give it a try. Cheers.